Hello, it's Big City Jean. Uh, yes, I need to speak with a representative, please. Oh, okay. thank you for calling Expense Energy, where we're keeping you connected every day. It's my pleasure to serve you. My name is Cheryl, operator number 852217485-224. How may I assist you today? Um, hello, um, I, I was calling about my bill. Oh, I, I see here. Okay, I see here that you have a balance of $350. Will you be making that payment by check, credit card, money transfer? Well, you see, um, that's why I was calling. Um, there seems to be... Oh, yes, 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 yes. I see here that you made a payment of $20 yes. last week, and you have another payment arrangement set up in the amount today for the remaining balance. How are you satisfying that payment today? Yes, that is correct, you see, and that's why I was calling, because um, my, my husband's check is normally in the bank right now, but he called to tell me there was a problem, and so... Okay, I see, I see, okay, I'm hearing that you are not going to be making that payment. Is that correct, Miss Jonah, huh? Uh, well, I, I guess that's what it boils down to. I, I just need more time. Oh, no, 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 no. See, you must, because there's a disconnect notice pending on your account. A, a disconnect notice? Disconnect notice. Yes, ma'am, you are shy. You see, I'm going to let that slide, okay? Because I, I, I just don't want to go there. But the bigger issue is, how is it that I have pay arrangements on my account, but I have a disconnect notice at the same time? Well, probably because they knew you'd be calling to change the arrangements. Basically, it doesn't matter anyway, because if you don't pay the bill, they're going to cut your lights off. Cut my lights? Who is they? Oh, the wonderful people here at Expense Energy, where we're keeping you connected every day. Okay, see, I'm going to let that slide because all my patience is just about out of here, okay? So what am I supposed to do? I understand your frustration, and I really would like to help you with that. <laughs> okay, is there anything else I may assist you with today, Miss Joanna? Uh, no, and that's Joanna. Of course it is. Okay, thank you so much for the pleasure of assisting you today. I hope that you had another pleasurable experience with Expense Energy. As always, our goal here is to offer you the highest level of customer service. So when you go to www.stayconnected.com, you can plug in my operator ID and take a survey and enter to win. Win what? You know, I really don't know. <laughs> Many women would love to have a man go work the 
of them every day. But you know what? I didn't ask you to do that. You did that on your own. So what's up? Anyway, thank you for being such a wonderful man. Sign, right. Hey, Joanna. You know, I was praying on the way home today and I had such an incredible conversation with God. I couldn't wait to get home to actually check out what we were talking about in the scriptures. I am telling you, I have no time with God today. I missed you today. Really? I, I missed you too. Did you? Yes. Well, I hate that you have to carry this big old gun around. I just never know. The news always has stuff going on. And, well, anyway, listen. I have to call Expense Energy today, and I need to talk to you about the budget. Well, it's I don't want to eat. I'm hungry. What? And as far as that gun goes, it's called work. Well, are you hungry for me? I'm hungry for real food. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, um, well, look, just, just don't get too comfortable, because you know Miss Mueller's coming over, and she's just all upset about Penelope's leg, you know? Why? Well, apparently, they did the hip transplant wrong. Something like that. You know, I'm really going to have to pray for those people because they're really in for it now. She doesn't seem to realize it's just a dog. <laughs> we are talking about Miss Beulah, babe. You know how she is. That dog she talked about, that's how Alma Bear has been serving her 17 long years. <laughs> that's all she talks about. And don't talk about the doctors because they're already pressing charges against her. Pressing charges? What does she do now? You know Miss Beulah, babe. She went up in that hospital, pulled her oil out her bra, and started rebuking the devil in the name of Jesus out of all them doctors. They think she's nuts. <laughs> you know, she is way too serious about that dog. Well, that's Miss Beulah, babe. You know how she is. Thank you. 
I, you feel all right? That's the anointing, sugar. Give me my prayers, baby. Give me okay. my prayers. Uh-huh. That's how it's supposed to happen. You the one that stepped all up on my flowers. I haven't stepped on No, you stepped on my flowers. Don't make me pull back in there uh, and oh, get no more. Well, Don't talk me. back. See, it's your big old uncrucified foot stepping on me. You know how long it take me and Penelope to get the spirit I do. in this neighborhood. You got to lay in our flowers to stay. I'm going to tell you I'm stepping on them. Well, you ain't busy, are you? Well, I was actually going to go. No, you ain't busy, so you can come over there and help me fix what mine has broken. So, I'm going to go. Okay. Because you are going to go. Okay. Because you right. know Penelope got to go. I come over there. I know. She's and we believing in God to fix her and heal her. Right. I understand. How does she mm -hmm. know? She's well. She is. She's well. Oh, okay. yes. That's good. So, you know what? She thought she's seen a dog across the street, a little tender on me. Oh, yeah. And I'm hot behind, jumped off my dog on porch and broke my feet. No. Girl, she got to read her Bible. She can't be fun and I understand. So you come on and come help me right now since you ain't busy. I'm a go, go. Timothy. Yeah. Yes, Miss You Bueller. need to fix your door. Yes, Miss Bueller. Uh-huh. Yes. I see in the back of my head if your eyes will be there, I'll slap them. <laughs> yes, Miss Bueller. Yeah, whatever. I'm going. Come on, Raymond. Uh, Let's well, go. Well, 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 I'm telling you, he is in for it now. Oh, Lord, that, that woman make me tired. She makes me tired. You! But, but anyway, I, I'm going to talk about Miss Bueller. Listen, okay, we need to talk about this budget. I've been trying to talk to you about it. There's some things well, we need you to know, figure I'm out. I'd like to take a shower because I've been up since five, and you know how that really helped me relax. So I think I'm going to get ready to do that. Okay, okay, fine. Well, well, you know what? Instead of the shower, yeah. how about a bath? How about a nice warm bath and we can put some bubble baths in it and put some oil in there and I can massage you and then a little later we can, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, look, I, you don't have to go through all that, Joanna, but that bath sounds really nice. Okay. So, okay. Um, you can go ahead and go back there. I'll, I'll, I'll be back there in a minute uh, to run that bath water for you. Ramona's told me so much about both of you guys. Oh, good. We're so glad he finally 
really brought you back home. Really? <laughs> but I love you, baby. Isn't she just sweet? She is. <laughs> I love you too, Ramon. You know, I always pray to God to bring me a man like a fresh anointing of love. I found myself daydreaming in time and got snatched out of time into eternity. Heavenly drifting, drifting into a promise of a lifetime. And God soared me into a vision, into a dream of hope beyond the crystal blue skies. A fall of peaceful, graceful eagles of glory. For the floating clouds captured by fate. And he was there. And his mouth shined on me. The warmth, the peace, and calm. And I asked God, is this real or am I dreaming? And he said, My daughter, your dreams are my vision of you, my plans for you, and my thoughts of you. And I asked, Lord, and his heart, is his heart for you the same? Parallel to you, my daughter. To his thoughts beyond to yours and to yours, his were created to flow in the river of dreams and goals and visions in a stream of success towards my call. So do not fear to walk in excellence, for excellent is your vision. Line the visit from the hope that you both have placed in me, for the desires I have for you and his, amen. And I snap back into reality to accomplish that vision. And you were there to champion God's vision. From your essence came a fresh anointing of love. Wow. Wow. You know, it's amazing. <laughs> you know, every day, every day I write a love note for you. Every day I write a love note for you. Every day I write a love note just for you. Hopelessly in love, I'm endlessly caught up in you. Cause like the cake, you're the butter that makes it taste so good. And, and, and you do things to me I can't even understand. You speak life to me, you, you cover me in prayer, you're my partner in Christ. The Lord keeps giving me words to express I love daily. Showing us favor, no way, no how could I ever jeopardize this because, brother, I believe you are my real. All my defenses are down because of you. A love so strong, I hear your name calling me when you're nowhere to be found. Let the bells ring, let the alarm sound, a quiet storm of love song abounds. I hear whispers in the wind. Love calls your name. And every time you're around, a magnetic kiss seals the deal of what was already written. And when we are apart, I would play over and over and over and over again the moments in my mind that we share. Because when it's all said and done, I wish to share our last breath together. <clears throat> uh, Ramon, Ramon, uh, Houston, living room. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, come back to the planet, brother. <laughs> this is that precious yeah. new love. Yeah. I pray you all always have that right there. Well, what do you mean? Well, it's just having the security of your love for one another. That's huge. It's important. Oh, well, if we're anything like you and Mr. Tell, we're going to be great. Well, he, I'm blessed. She I'm is. blessed. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's yeah. not always perfect, oh. but... Um, yeah, he, he's still the best man on the planet, oh, so, but uh, anyway, uh, not about us. What about you? How did you all meet? Oh, well, we met through my best friend, but oh. she didn't want to show me no attention. I didn't want to show him any attention mm -hmm. because I was all about Jesus. I was yeah. working for his kingdom. I still am. I just didn't have time for him at that time. Okay, yeah. I know I was looking for my wife, too, but still, I mean, look, anyway, we met at the coffee shop. Uh-huh. No! That's not how it happened. That's what? We didn't meet at a coffee shop. What? He doesn't know how to tell the It's story. more to it, right? Yeah, of okay. course. Okay. You know men. Uh, <laughs> 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 tell the story, baby. See, he kept calling me. I don't know where he got my number from. Uh -huh. But he kept calling me, asking me out on a date. And I said, no, you can go to church with me. So he did. He yeah, went to church. I did. I went to church. And then I also went to the theater because she writes plays. Oh. And when we were done, we went to go get something to eat. 
that's the story. Yeah, he kept calling me. I had to say yes. Okay. I had to say yes. But see, I didn't want to fall for the okie dokie anymore. Yeah. I wanted the real thing. Yeah. But after dinner, the waiter brought over a big, huge pile of brownie alamode. It was huge. It was so good, too. Mm -hmm. Right, babe? I just stayed quiet. Yeah, he just I stayed quiet. I didn't know what was going on. And the waiter said, well, ma'am, it's Sweetie's Day. I looked around and I realized it was Valentine's Day, and I didn't even know it. How did you miss that? I have no idea, but see, that's when I noticed him. He looked so cute just sitting there. I did? Yeah. But then, then we went to the coffee then shop. Then you went to the coffee shop. Okay, so now that's the part that you missed. Oh, it's not the part that you missed. Okay, so that's the part that you missed. Not for you, remember. Not for you, not for this tech camp. Not for your wife, you can do anything. Come on now. You have to get some more money. Take a job. Take a job.
keep repeating non-stop like a 45. Will you let me love the pain away? Will you let me smooth away the wrinkles of loneliness? Will you let me breathe sunshine onto your skin and warm your fingertips with my everlasting love? Will you let me love the pain away? Will you let me blow a cool breeze of comfort in your ear? <laughs> Will you let me speak life to your thoughts and capture your present and future with the hope, the joy, the peace that surpasses all understanding? Will you let me love the pain away, my sweet, sweet babe? Will you let my friendship increase your trust? Will you let my unconditional love be your security blanket, baby? Will you let me love the pain away? Will you fall into a space that has no time, baby? No rhythm, no rhyme, baby? No corners, no falls, no depths, no jumps, no boundaries, no refrains, no limits, no ends, no beginnings, baby? Will you let me love the pain away? Noah! It's just too far gone. You disgust me.
deserve to get out of this house and have some fun too. Now listen, I gotta get going. So, in fact, somebody's trying to get in the door. <laughs> college and 
that was the point of going to school, am I correct? Yes, I guess it was. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, I thought about you. You did? Yeah. Oh, well, do tell. A lot, actually. Walk in the breeze and sunshine, a bunch of smile in the heat of the warm footsteps. I thought about your kisses that made me forget there's such a thing as time. Your love, your love that made me forget there's such a thing as pain. Girl, sometimes I would just say your name just to hear it come from my insides, deliver the hope in my heart, a hope of love, and a hope that maybe one day, maybe one day I can love you. I thought about you. I thought about another man loving you. And I prayed that he could love you harder than I. <laughs> if such a thing could actually exist, I wish for your bright and bubbly countenance never, ever to be dull. A ruin and disappointment, a crush, and evil and treachery. I just wanted to shield you from such things. I wanted to lift you high in my heart, way above thought, just knowing, knowing, knowing that you are mine and I am yours. Being conceited, this girl, I don't know how to love you. And I'm on a treadmill to love you. It keeps me going nonstop. I thought about you getting feisty and laughing at your strong character. I thought about your jokes and witty nature and encouraging your dreams and goals and being your ladder to success, being the first one. Laughing at your happiness. I thought about making love to you over and over and over and over. Okay, because I, I'm 
and I remember in college, boy, I just, we just had such a good time. And I remember about Raphael, I just, I remember, I just used to, I used to love that man, my God. It, it wasn't all holy either, Lord. But anyway, the point was, you know, I to just love him. And, and, and I saw he, you know, he just went away after graduation. And I, I thought about him over the years, and I, I hope he was doing okay. And, and then he tells me that he's thinking about me, and he's, he said he's thinking about me. He's thinking about about me. Well, I, ooh, no, Lord, I can't, I can't go do it. I, I, I need to go pray. I need to go pray. I got to get out of here. My goodness. Oh, oh. I'm not trying to become between you and what you have going on, but I have to tell you this, okay? What? The day of the graduation, I went to your dorm room, and when I went there, you wasn't there, and so I left it. What? Rocky, I didn't know that! Why did you come back and, why did you come back and look for me? I mean, you came back in the fall for homecoming, I saw you! You didn't even say anything to me! I wanted to. But what, Raphael? What? For the same reason you didn't say you wanted to love me. Which was what? Listen, sweetness. When I went back and asked the fellas how you've been, they told me you was with someone else. Oh gosh, Raphael. Really? I mean, well, yes, I was dating, but it was that college dating thing everybody does. It doesn't mean anything. Raphael, you meant something to me. <sighs> it just goes. I wanted to give you that flower shop you always asked for. I wanted to give you all those babies you always wanted. <laughs> Sweetness, I would do anything for you, and you know that. I know, Raphael. You always knew how to, you know, get into that special place inside of me that I just knew that I was special to you. I guess time doesn't change real love. No, it doesn't. Can't be mine. Oh no! Oh no! No, I can't do that. I can't do that. You see, because I'm, I'm married to Tim, and otherwise I would have been there. And, and when you came to see me, and otherwise I would have, otherwise I would have probably. But otherwise, you would be my wife. My wife. Hey, uh, hey, hi, hey. Hey, what's going on, bro? 
Hey, Mr. Owen, is Mr. Tim here? Uh, Rebel, what are you doing here? What? I came by to tell Mr. Tim something. I mean, is he here? He's not here. Is he, 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 he at work? I mean, but uh, Mr. Owen, are you okay? Oh, Mr. Owen, are you okay? I mean, uh, I, obviously you're not okay, and I know I, I'm kind of young and probably shouldn't even be saying anything, but um, I just want to tell you that every day is a new day, Mr. Owen. And what happened yesterday doesn't have to happen today. Just pray for a better way. You know, wipe that frown off your face. Pick up your pace. Leave no trace of the past, because today is a new day. Wake up. Get to moving. Prove to yourself by doing. You know, you didn't fall overnight, but you can stand. Just open your eyes up to the center. The other ones, they just want to see you fold up, but your help is just to level up. His name is Jesus, and he will show up, Mr. Owen. It's like 
can hail in blue sky amidst snow-capped mountains and silent songs in the wind and the leaves on the mustard trees as they dance and then bend. And skating in green pet meadows and hills over the fuchsia flowers and sun-kissed peaches with crystal waters twinkling over diamonds and rubies and
Now, <laughs> now young lady, it's one thing to be walking around here rightfully pissed off. Amen. Okay? But it's another thing when you take it too far, girl. Baby, ain't that the same heifer? I mean, um. <laughs> I mean, one, they be singing and the choir sounding all beautiful. No, I don't know about that, though. Well, it don't matter how you sound if you walk around with all that hatred in your heart. Don't <laughs> preach to me, old man. <laughs> oh, girl, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. No, you are not going to talk to my husband like that girl. Look at him. You don't know how I'm running the ball headed for, but I know what I'm doing over here. Sure. I'm not seasoned. Yeah, yes, you are seasoned. Tell it like it is. Yeah. Girl, you better watch out. No, no, baby, you, you better got... watch out. Oh, no, you're not. We need to leave my mother out of this, Judy. We could be growing up. 
about this. Oh, Bill, you really? Woman, you act like she's not home. She's just as human as I am. My here. mother is an awesome woman of God who knows how to treat her man. That's right. Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait.